Hello everyone, I'm Takami Sato, a PhD student from UC Irvine, supervised by Professor Chi Alfred Chen. Today, I will present our work that the load can attack security of deep learning based automated lane centering and a physical world attack. This is a joint work among the ASCAL research group at UC Irvine, by Dense and Northeastern University. Automated lane centering system, ALC, is a level 2 driving automation technology that can automatically steer a vehicle to keep it centered in the traffic lane. ALC is widely available in many recent vehicles, as shown in the slide. In this study, we mainly target an open source production ALC called OpenPilot, which has representative design, DNA based camera lane detection, and reported to have close performance to Tesla Autopilot and GM Supercruise. OpenPilot can support over 80 popular vehicle models by installing a dashcam on the windshield and override the cruise mode of the vehicle as shown in the photo. As in the videos, OpenPilot can handle a wide variety of driving scenarios, and OpenPilot is very stable in diverse traffic and environmental conditions. ALC is very convenient for human drivers. However, it is also highly security and safety critical. Recently, the vulnerability of DN models are widely reported. So we wonder whether such DN level vulnerability can lead to the whole ALC system level attack effect. To answer this, in this work, we are the first to systematically study the security of DN based ALC in the designed it operational domains, basically load with landlines and the physical world adversarial attacks. While we know, DN models are vulnerable in general, there are three challenges before we can understand the ALC system level vulnerability. First, there is no domain specific and deployable attack vector for ALC. For example, we cannot use low side objects such as stop signs or billboards since it will not be included in the model input area or region of the interest, or ROI. Based on the detected lane lines, the ALC actuates the vehicle in a continuous closed-loop lateral control process. Here, attack on the single frame can only cause millimeter-level lateral deviation. To make attack effect on continuous frame, we need to handle camera frame content interdependency due to attack, which we will detail later. Further, we actually don't even have an applicable attack objective function for ALC, as the prior designs for image classification and object detection focus on changing class label or bounding boxes. But we need to change the lane line shapes. Beyond that, we also need to make it differentiable for effective optimization. Now let's talk about the first one. At a high level, this is to handle the semantic gaps from the perturbation in the physical world driving environment to those at the model input level. As we said earlier, the model input area, or ROI, is focusing on the load surface. So our question is, what on the load surface can be both seemingly benign and possible for attack purposes? When things come into our mind is these dirty load patterns, which can commonly appear on the low surface and can have large and complex patterns. But can it attack ALC? To explore this, we design a deployable attack vector for dirty load patterns, dirty load patch or DAP attack. DAP attack pretend to be benign load patch, but the surface patterns are designed for adversary attacks. The left one is an example of DAP attack. To pretend to be benign load patch, we design various stealthiness constraints, such as only in the grayscale and preserving the original lane lines. As in the light, such patches can be quickly deployable. Let me show some demo to concretize the attack idea. First is in a miniature scale physical world setup. We printed a small patch and press it on the low texture. And this is official open dashcam. Now we move it forward. 
As we can see, the rain detection results are always significantly bent to the left. Without the patch, the open pilot detection is actually pretty robust as shown. This attack is also robust against different viewing angles. When we move the dashcam to the left, and the light in the lane, as we can see, the attack impact is always significant. While it's indeed a severe crash, it is a still simulation, so maybe in the real world driving, other driving features such as AEB can prevent this attack. Thus, we further perform a real vehicle experiment to understand this. We first obtain the attacked model output trace from the simulator, then inject them during the real world driving test. Here is a video. All safety features like AEB are active, but it still crashes into the cardboard boxes. We tried 10 times, but did not observe AEB in any of them. We do observe pre-collision warning sound, but it's usually immediately before the crash, like 0.74 second here, which is very hard for driver to react in time. To eventually make the attack work like that is not so easy. As we said before, one challenge is about the handling camera frame content interdependency to make the attack continuously effective. Let me illustrate it here. To generate the attack, attackers first need to correct the camera frame content of the attack location. However, if attackers place the patch on the load, the place the patch changes the string decision of ALC and the camera frame content will be different from when they are corrected. This causes the perturbation areas in the frames to be very different, which directly affects the attack generation during the optimization. But how to obtain attack influenced content on the fly during the optimization? There is a clearly an information loss here. Here, we notice an interesting opportunity due to ROI. The model input only used the center area of the camera input, so the low images actually do contain the missing information in the attack influenced frame. This may make it possible to synthesize such content update dynamically during the optimization. To achieve that, here is our method. We first obtain attack influenced stair angle from ALC. Second, we calculate the vehicle position and the heading in the next frame with vehicle motion model. Then, we synthesize the content inside ROI with perspective transformation, which is like this for position shifting and heading angle changes. Then, we have the attack influence the model input in the ROI box here. This approach outperforms naive EOT-based attack by more than 46%, and also allows us to more directly judge the system-level attack success during the optimization, because it can translate the model output level changes to system-level effect. The last challenge is about the objective function design. We need to design something specific for changing lane line shapes, and also make it differentiable. Due to the time limit, I will only talk about the high-level idea. Basically, the key idea is to maximize or minimize the derivatives at each waypoint, as the derivatives can be seen as the steering angles when the vehicle can follow the waypoint strictly, which thus can be a differentiable surrogate loss function for lateral control level changes. We call this lane bending objective function and more details are in our paper. Combining all three designs, we generate the patch by alternatively updating the patch on the vehicle trajectory. There are a lot of more details behind this. Please refer to our paper. We perform the evaluation from various aspects, for example, using real world traces, miniature scale physical world setup, and simulation setup, as I demonstrated before, and also comparison with the baseline and still see this with a user study. 
Our attack is shown to be effective in this various evaluation setup with less than one second success time. From the user study, the patch is stealthy from the driver's view. Due to the time limit, please refer to more detail in our paper. We also evaluate and discuss possible defenses. For DNA model level defenses, we evaluate five popular defenses that are directly applicable, but none of them can defend against our attack without harming normal driving. Another direction is fusing with HD map. However, creating and maintaining such maps are time consuming, costly, and hard to scale, which is thus explicitly avoided by the companies like Tesla. However, for the security purpose, maybe this is necessary. As a short time mitigation, we suggest to at least put dirty load or dirty load patch into the list of unhandled scenarios so that users are aware of the such limitations. We check the ALC manuals from 11 companies, but none of them list the limitation today. We also conducted responsible vulnerability disclosure. We informed 30 companies developing ALC systems, and 10 have replied and started investigation. In conclusion, we are the first to systematically study the security of DN-based ALC in the designed it operational domain under physical world adversary attacks. We propose a novel attack vector, overcome various design challenges, and perform comprehensive evaluations using real world traces, simulation, and physical world setups. We also perform responsible vulnerability disclosure. Thank you for joining our talk. Now I'm open to questions.